Any state possessing the status of a sea power strives for the permanent presence of the country's flag in the world ocean. The aircraft carrier is a symbol of prestige and power for the navies across the world. Ever since their inception, these ships have made a huge difference for the defense system of several countries. These vessels support and operate aircraft that engage in attacks on airborne, afloat, and ashore targets that threaten free use of the sea. In addition, these giants also provide unique capabilities for disaster response and humanitarian assistance. Today, we'll show you the most powerful aircraft carriers in the world. Well, let's take a look at them. Gerald R. Ford Class Our list starts with the recently commissioned Gerald R. Ford Class. This class of aircraft carrier is built to replace the USS Enterprise and eventually Nimitz-class carriers. The first ship in the class, USS Gerald R. Ford, CVN-78, was delivered to the U.S. Navy in May 2017 and commissioned in July 2017. The second carrier, USS John F. Kennedy, CVN-79, was launched in December 2019. A total of 10 Ford-class carriers are planned, with construction continuing to 2058. The size of the carriers are mind-blowing. It has a length of 1,106 feet, overall beam of 256 feet, and displacement of about 1,000 tons. Currently, it's the largest aircraft carrier in the world. These vessels are operated with nearly 5,500 crew members, and the accommodation terms for them are great. For instance, the carrier even has an onboard hospital that includes a full lab, pharmacy, operating room, and 41-bed hospital ward. To protect itself from enemy missiles, the Ford class is armed with two launchers with 16 evolved Sea Sparrow missiles, ESSM each, and two launchers with 21 rolling airframe missiles, RAM. The last line of defense is four 20mm Phalanx close-in weapon systems. This widely known gun can fire from 3,000 to 4,500 rounds per minute. Another addition to the Gerald R. Ford class is an integrative active electronically scanned array search and tracking radar system. The dual band radar, DBR, works by combining the X-band ANSPY-3 multifunction radar with the S-band volume search radar, VSR emitters, distributed into three phased arrays. The carrier is capable of carrying up to 90 aircraft, including the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter, F-A-18E-F Super Hornet, E-2D Advanced Hawkeye, EA-18G Growler Electronic Attack Aircraft, MH-60R-S Helicopters, as well as unmanned air and combat vehicles. These ships are able to sustain 160 sorties per day, with a surge capability of 270 sorties per day. This is the only aircraft carrier class in the world that uses EMALs which is able to launch heavier and lighter aircraft than the steam catapult. In addition, the use of a controlled force reduces stress on the fuselage, resulting in less maintenance and a longer life for the fuselage. Powered by two A1B nuclear reactors and four shafts, this giant can reach maximum speeds exceeding 30 knots and is capable of reaching any part of the world containing a connected body of water. As it stands, the USS Gerald R. Ford represents the most powerful surface warship in the United States Navy arsenal. Able to respond to actions in any part of the world and unleash its air arm on enemies as USN carrier groups have done so effectively in the past. Nimitz Class Now we're talking about the predecessor of the Gerald R. Ford Class, the Nimitz Class. With displacement of 102,000 tons and a flight deck length of 1,092 feet, the Nimitz-class aircraft carriers were the largest warships ever built until the commissioning of the USS Gerald R. Ford class in 2017. All 10 nuclear-powered Nimitz-class carriers were built by Huntington Ingalls Industry Newport News Shipbuilding, now Northrop Grumman Ship Systems, based in Virginia. The carrier reaches a maximum speed of over 30 knots and can accommodate about 6,000 crew members. That's approximately 150 baseball teams. These ships are capable to carry up to 90 aircraft. Typically, this would be 12 F-A18E-F Hornets, 36 F-A18 Hornets, 4 E-2C Hawkeyes, and 4 EA-6B Prowlers fixed-wing and helicopters, including 4 SH-60F and 2 HH-60H Seahawks. These carriers are able to sustain 120 sorties per day, with a surge capability of 240 sorties per day. 
the Nimitz class is capable of launching one aircraft every 20 seconds. For its self-defense, the carriers are equipped with three or four Raytheon MK-15 Phalanx 20mm CIWS, same as the Gerald Ford. More recently built carriers are armed with two Raytheon Guided Missile Launching System GMLS, MK-29 8-cell launchers for RIM-7P Sea Sparrow surface-to-air missiles and RIM-162 Evolved Sea Sparrow missiles ESSM. Other carriers are equipped with two MK-57 NATO Sea Sparrow Missile System NSSMS, launchers and two Raytheon MK-49 RAM launching systems with 21X RIM-116 rolling airframe missiles each. RAM provides short-range defense against incoming anti-ship missiles. Countermeasures on board include the Raytheon AN-SLQ-32V Shipboard Electronic Warfare System which provides electronic support and countermeasure protection, and the AN-SLQ-25 Nixie Torpedo Countermeasures Transmitting Set. For 45 years, the Nimitz class represented the dominating power in the ocean space, able to respond to enemy actions in any part of the world. Queen Elizabeth Class Meet the new British Carrier Class UK CBF Royal Navy Aircraft Carriers, HMS Queen Elizabeth and HMS Prince of Wales are the largest warships ever constructed in Europe. HMS Queen Elizabeth was officially christened by the Queen in July 2014 and entered service in December 2017. The HMS Prince of Wales sailed into its home port of Portsmouth Naval Base for the first time in November 2019. The ship was commissioned in December 2019. The CVF displaces 65,000 tons and is capable of accommodating a crew of up to 900 members. Its flight deck is 932 feet long and 213 feet wide, enough space for three football pitches. The carrier has a maximum speed of 32 knots using a propulsion system of two Rolls-Royce Marine 36 MWMT30 gas turbine alternators and four diesel engines with a total installed power approaching 110 megawatts. At 15 knots, the range is 10,000 miles. It's enough to reach any point on the Earth for a few days. Both the HMS Queen Elizabeth and HMS Prince of Wales keep 45 days worth of food in its stores. The hull designs are planned for a 50-year service life and are configured with a ski ramp for short takeoff and vertical landing stovall operations. The standard air group of 40 aircraft includes 36 Lockheed Martin F-35B Joint Strike Fighters and four EH-101 Merlin helicopters. The carrier is capable of carrying out up to 85 sorties per day and is able to conduct day and nighttime operations. The maximum launch rate is 24 aircraft in 15 minutes, and the maximum recovery rate is 24 aircraft in 24 minutes. The carrier defense is provided with the widely known Phalanx CIWS close-in weapon system and a number of radars including S-1850M long-range radar and Type 997 Artisan 3D medium-range radar. The S-1850M is capable of detecting and tracking up to 1,000 targets at a range of 215 nautical miles. The Type 997 Artisan has a range of 110 nautical miles at 30 RPM and is reportedly capable of tracking more than 900 targets at once. The project to build HMS Queen Elizabeth and sister ship HMS Prince of Wales cost $8 billion. Liao Ning now, we will tell you about the first Chinese aircraft carrier. The story of this carrier is pretty interesting. Initially, the ship was named Varyag. It was laid down in 1985 at the Nikolayev shipyard in Ukraine. However, after the collapse of the Soviet Union, construction ceased. As such, the Ukrainian government had no funds to finish the construction of this aircraft carrier and decided to sell to a Macau-based entertainment company for $20 million in 1998, which initially planned to convert it into an entertainment complex and casino. However, when the Varyag arrived in China in 2002, it was docked in Dalian at the naval shipyards and has been stationed there under tight secrecy. It has been handed to the Chinese Navy for research and restoration. At that time, the ship was in poor condition. Significant refurbishment work had been done before the ship was eventually commissioned with the Chinese Navy in 2012 as the Liao Ning. This 997-foot-long carrier is conventionally powered and has an estimated full load displacement of 60 to 66,000 tons. 
The ship can reach a speed of 32 knots and has a range of 3,850 nautical miles. The vessel can accommodate a crew of up to 2,000, three times less than the Nimitz class. The Liaoning is capable of carrying up to 36 aircraft, 24 Shenyang J-15 fighters, six Changhei Z-18F anti-submarine warfare ASW helicopters, four Changhei Z-18J airborne early warning helicopters, and two Harbin Z-9C rescue helicopters. The Liaoning lacks aircraft catapults and instead launches fixed airplanes off the ship's bow using an inclined ski ramp. For self-defense, the carrier is armed with the Flying Leopard 3000 Naval FL-3000N missile system and Type 1030 close-in weapon system CIWS. The FL-3000N consists of an 8-cell missile launcher similar to the U.S. Navy's Rolling Airframe Missile RAM, missile system and uses the HHQ-10 Naval Service-to-Air Missile developed from the TY-90 missile. The purpose of this air defense missile is to take out incoming threats such as anti-ship missiles, rotary, and fixed-wing aircraft. The Type 1130 is a monstrous weapon, trading 11 barrels and up to 11,000 RPM. It is one of the most advanced CIWS in service to date. The carrier is also equipped with Type 346 and Type 382 radars. Type 346 is operating an F-G band dual-band multi-mode radar and has a detection range of up to 215 nautical miles. The Type 382 search radar can simultaneously track up to 40 targets within the maximum range of 65 nautical miles. By 2030, China is planning to reman their fleet by two additional aircraft carriers. INS Vikramaditya IMS Vikramaditya is the Indian Navy's largest warship. This aircraft carrier was converted from the Russian Navy's decommissioned Admiral Gorshkov missile cruiser carrier. The warship has been extensively refurbished with new propulsion systems, hull sections, sensors, and flight deck. The hull was completed by March 2012, and the first sea trials began in June 2012. However, the delivery was delayed again due to defects encountered in boilers and the need for replacement of additional electrical cables. The ship was finally commissioned in 2013. The refurbished aircraft, INS Vikramaditya, is equipped with 234 new hull sections constructed using 2,500 tons of steel, which is equal to the Golden Reserve of France. It has an overall length of 932 feet, a maximum beam of 197 feet, and a displacement of 44,500 tons. The length of the carrier is approximately the same height as five towers of Pisa put together. The vessel can carry more than 30 long-range multi-role fighters with anti-ship missiles, air-to-air -air missiles, guided bombs, and rockets. The aircraft aboard the carrier include MiG-29K Sea Harrier Combat Aircraft, Kamov-31 Radar Picket Airborne Early Warning AEW Helicopter, Kamov-28 Naval Helicopter, Sea King Helicopter, Hal Duruv, and Chetik helicopter. For launching aircraft, the vessel uses a 14-degree sky jump. For its self-protection, the carrier uses four AK-630 CIWS Barak-1 SAM and Barak-8 LR SAM. The AK-630 is a well-known Russian CIWS, which is capable of firing up to 5,000 RPM with a range of 13,120 feet. Barak is an Israeli surface-to-air missile designed to be used as a ship-borne point defense missile system against aircraft, anti-ship missiles, and UAVs. The Barak SAM system launcher uses a compact vertical launching system with an 8-cell modular weighing 3,700 pounds. The warship has a maximum speed of over 30 knots and can attain a maximum range of 13,500 nautical miles. It's enough to reach any one point on the planet and back to the home port without refueling. Well, that's enough for today. Let us know in the comments which aircraft carrier impressed you the most. And don't forget to give us a like and smash that subscribe button and turn on notifications to not miss any new interesting videos. See you next time.